Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and in last week's podcast, I talked about air curtains. I mentioned that the area inside the air curtain had a higher pressure than the area outside, so particles would want to move from the higher pressure area to the lower pressure area. I want to go into that a little bit more and talk about positive and negative pressurization in buildings. If you've ever been in a building where the front door wouldn't close or was really hard to open, then you're familiar with positive and negative pressurization. In general, whether you want a building or space to be positively or negatively pressurized depends on if you're trying to keep things in or out of the space. If a building exhausts more air than it takes in, it'll be negatively pressurized. And if it takes in more air than exhaust, it'll be positively pressurized. For a typical office building, you want to be neutral or slightly positively pressurized. So if this is our slightly positive building, the airflow wants to go from the building towards the outside. So let's make a little room and draw a second building. And let's make this building negatively pressurized. If the building's negatively pressurized, air from the higher pressure outside will want to come into the building. This can cause drafts or odors to come into the building. It can also cause outside doors to be hard to open. Or exhaust from trucks on the street could be pulled into your building as well. So let's go back to our guy in the operating room. Let's draw in our laminar flow diffuser in the ceiling and we'll put in our air curtain around the outside with our slots and then our guy on the operating table down here. So we have unidirectional non-aspirating flow out of the laminar flow diffusers and out here with the air curtain we have a higher velocity flow creating a barrier to the outside. You want the area inside the air curtain to have a higher pressure or be positively pressurized. This way your particles will want to move from the higher pressure or the positive pressure to the lower pressure areas on the outside of the air curtain. You also want the operating room to be kept positive relative to adjacent areas. Put the floor down here and let's say there's a door over here somewhere. So you want the operating room side to be positive, the outside, say, hall to be negative, so that the airflow wants to move from the positive side in the operating room out into the hall. So all of this positively pressurized area makes it better for our patient who's having surgery. So that's positive and negative pressurization. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.